What the fuck am I reading right now? What's up guys, it's Jack and welcome back to another video. And you know, my videos are not, they're not monetized. My shit's definitely not monetized. So I think I'm going to go a little bit towards the R-rated route today because um, supposedly these new Black Ops 4 leaks <laughs> uh, are just sounding crazier and crazier and it's like, what the hell are they thinking? And you know, I'm not your typical Call of Duty fan. I'm a little bit more open to change. Um, you know, but most Call of Duty fans are not exactly like that. They want a very similar COD experience because they're right, too. COD is COD, Overwatch is Overwatch, PUBG is PUBG, Fortnite's Fortnite, etc., 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 etc. And the fact with these rumors that Call of Duty is going to play like a mixture of Overwatch and um, Lawbreakers is something that's definitely leaving a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. And you know what? I don't blame them. I don't blame them. And, and, and partially so with me as well. Because as I just mentioned, Call of Duty is its own thing. Why? I mean, it's, it's a good thing when you take ideas from certain games. But when you turn your base game into something else... That's when things, that's when you're definitely not doing it right. And you know what? I can't even say what the fuck Treyarch. You know why? Because Activision is the one that calls the shots. So this may not even be Treyarch's idea in the first place. This might have not been their, their route to go for in the first place. And I can say from me being a Call of Duty fan and knowing a lot of Call of Duty fans and passionate Call of Duty fans, uh, I don't think any of us were really expecting this. And a lot of us were actually expecting and waiting for a uh, for a boots on the ground traditional Treyarch Call of Duty game. Because from most <laughs> from most Call of Duty players, I think everybody will mostly agree that Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and COD 4 and probably Modern Warfare 2, those were the four top Call of Duty games ever made. Um, and the only reason why I mentioned Modern Warfare 2 also is because Modern Warfare 2 is, is the game that pretty much really just started like bringing COD up to a new level in terms of popularity and all that kind of stuff. COD 4 started it all, but in terms of like giving that big boost, it was Modern Warfare 2 that did it. And then with Black Ops 1 adding in the balance, I mean, there, there you go. I mean, and another thing that I'm starting to think of is like, if this is true, if all this is true, because there is a possibility that we could be getting trolled. I mean, there's no doubt about it. it, it it could be possible, but it's kind of unlikely the way things are looking right now. But uh, the thing is, what about the pros? And supposedly, since Black Ops 4 is going to be playing so differently now, and with all the different things that they've added and omitted and scaled back or whatever the hell that means, they, uh, I mean, what about the pros? They're, I feel, uh, let me tell you something, if this is true, I feel for these kids. And the reason why, I mean, I'm calling them kids because these people are on average... 10 to 15 years younger than I am. I'm 33, so the average pro player is going to be, you know, in their in their mid, in in their late teens at the earliest to let's say almost mid 20s. So, I mean, <clears throat> and I feel for these guys because they've spent a lot of time. I mean, to be a professional Call of Duty player or a, or a professional video gamer or whatnot, it it takes a lot of dedication, a lot of time, skill, and these people have invested so much effort. And the thing is. When you change the base game and it comes becomes complete, something completely different, it's like it's like basically saying a big fuck you to the pros. It, it, this goes beyond just pubs here because this is also pros. I mean, and don't haven't these pro players also helped to generate money and popularity towards the game as well? And we're not just talking about you know their brand and their, the team that they play for. We're talking about representing the game in general, which you know helps out Activision. So, uh, money-wise and all that. So, I mean, it's uh, if all this shit is true, it's like, uh, that's the thing. I mean, people want that Call of Duty feel. And when you take away from that, you're going to piss a lot of people off. Um, and as I mentioned, I'm not your typical Call of Duty fan. I'm very open to change. I mean, a part of me is saying, hey, what if this, these new changes are fun? What if it's fun? After all this shit, I just said, what if it's fun? But at the same time... Even if it is, it's not going to be the same game. It's not going to be Call of Duty. And a lot of people are not going to be happy about it. Um, whew, sorry, I just had to get that off my chest a little bit before I continue on with this commentary. <laughs> but, um, I, do, I mean, I'm looking at this article right now on Charlie Intel as I'm doing this, this commentary. And, and, and I really can't believe my eyes. I mean, 
Now, this leak comes from Black Ops 4's multiplayer similar to the Overwatch experience, which lines up with information that Charlie Intel has heard about Black Ops 4's multiplayer mode. We have also heard that Treyarch has been backpending many of the Overwatch like uh, backpedaling many of the Overwatch like elements that were in development for Black Ops 4. After playtesting, it did not go as expected, similar to what the person's leak shared below said. So, uh, with all the leaks that have been coming out recently, you know, they seem to be true, and it's freaking crazy. And I think there's even one person that's been with Treyarch forever that's 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 left now, or that is leaving. And you know, and the thing is, um, uh, I, I were to say this, I think I think uh, I I don't know this for sure, but I mean, if Vaughn were to leave, all of a sudden, you know, all hope would be lost. <laughs> and I think um, I think Activision and them know that. So I don't know if he's contractually obligated to stay or whatever the hell the deal is, but. I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, uh, look, uh, I understand that in one sense, this could be a blessing in disguise, and it may may slightly be the change that Call of Duty needs, but I seriously doubt it. I've been playing this game long enough, and that's what, what I've been playing most for the last seven years, but I doubt this is the kind of change that Call of Duty makes. And, and, and for all intents and purposes, I, I pray I'm wrong. I pray I'm wrong, but... I mean, seriously, I mean, you got to think about everybody. You got to think about people that have been playing this game for years. Uh, and we're not just talking content maker, uh, content creators here. We're talking everybody. Everybody expects something, uh, a certain something from Call of Duty. And the fact that they're not going to get that is really going to piss people off. And also, um, another thing is the whole Battle Royale thing and how they're implementing it to where it's going to be like, there's not going to be like a regular, uh, there might not be regular Call of Duties if this game doesn't sell well or something like that. There's just going to be like expansions or something like that every year released or something like that. It's pretty crazy. I mean, the change, uh, I mean, all these potential changes that could happen, I mean, we're going to find out in less than a month from now. But it's it's pretty crazy. And I, uh, on one hand, I just said a whole bunch of things, but at the same time, I don't know what the hell to say and I don't know what the hell to think. I mean, I'm operating on two or three hours worth of sleep here, and and after the God of War stream last night into the morning, I mean, I'm and and not feeling well. I'm just all over the place mentally and physically. It's like I thought about this in my head before I started making this video, and I don't know, you know, where to turn and what to say at this point because everything just seems to be all over the place. Call of Duty is is, is turning itself into scrambled eggs right now, in a sense. So, um. A lot of the community, as of right now, from what I've seen on videos and, and, and all that kind of stuff, a lot of the community is not very happy. And I, quite frankly, I don't blame them. And is this what they've been doing for the last God knows how many years? And if that's the case, <clears throat> then um, I don't know. I mean, a lot, and, and the thing is, a lot of fans just want their Call of Duty fix every year. It's simple as that. And the fact that they're not going to get that, it's like, okay, what what game are they going to play now if they're not going to find what they're looking for with COD? So, uh, I mean, I'm just trying to look at this from every single person's point of view. Because you got the pros, you got the pub players, you got your zombies players, you got your, you know, uh, and you got your people in between, the casuals. And even casuals themselves, even though they may not know as much as, like, let's say, your, your very, your, your try-hard, you know, pub player, for instance, um, in terms of the in and outs and, and, and very specifics, I mean, even those guys from Call of Duty itself, they, they expect something. And that's and that's why it kind of doesn't make sense to me. It's like, why would you even, if this if these changes are true, why would you call it Black Ops 4? Because it, it'll have absolutely nothing to do with Black Ops 3 or even Black Ops 1. It's, even Especially since it's already been confirmed that it's going to take place in the year 2020, and um, which is before Black Ops 2, and you're you're gonna have advanced movement in the game and all these different things so it doesn't make sense so that's why part of me is thinking maybe we could be trolled we could be getting trolled but I don't know all this stuff is, is slowly but surely seeming to point in the direction that you know everything that they're saying is is, is true so I don't know I, I kinda wanted to make this video to get it off my chest and to kinda give my thoughts so my thoughts are all over the place again I'm not your typical Call of Duty fan I'm very open to change and if it's fun, I'll stick with it. I'll play it. I don't care. All I care, the, the fir first thing that comes, that's the most important to me, regardless of what game it is, is the fun factor. So if it's fun enough, then so be it. But at the same time, with everything else that I've discussed here, I mean, you know, do the math. So anyway, those were my two thoughts, guys. Um, <laughs> a lot more than two thoughts. 
So uh, I'm really glad I was able to make this video and kind of get this off my chest because it's definitely needed and uh, I know I'm not the only one that's that's all over the place on this and, and, and kind of speechless in a sense when it comes down to it. But anyway guys, that's all I got for this one. Let me know down in the comment section your opinions, your thoughts. Uh, let me know. Uh, let everything off your chest in the comment section. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? What, you know, what's on your mind? And as always, if you enjoyed the video, let me know. And if you didn't, let me know what I could do to make my videos better. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.